Take a look at the sky. I'm not sure how today's adventure is gonna go. So I am in downtown LA at Union Station. Today is the day that the swallows return to San Juan Capistrano. I don't know why they pick this day of the year, but they do, and so I decided I'm gonna take a day trip down to San Juan Capistrano to see if they actually come back. So I booked an Amtrak day trip. I'm gonna ride the Amtrak down to San Juan Capistrano and bring it back this evening. So, <laughs> what I hoped would be a nice, warm, sunny day is so far a uh, dark, overcast, potentially rainy day, but <laughs> I've never let that stop me, so this adventure awaits. So I have made it here to San Juan Capistrano. You know, I, I haven't thought really much beyond getting here. <laughs> so I have a whole day here. It's about 11.30 and my train to go back to LA leaves at 8.30. So I have got a lot of time to explore this area. Right across from the train station is the Los Rios Historic District, which is the oldest neighborhood in the entire state of California. So that is gonna be my first stop. is the Montanez Adobe. This is the very oldest structure in this area. It was built in 1794. It's a small two-room adobe. The Los Rios neighborhood began as 40 adobes built by Mission Indians in 1794. Only three adobes remain. The Montanez adobe belonged to Polonia Montanez, who was the town's midwife and spiritual leader when there wasn't a priest at the mission. When I tell you she owned this adobe, that probably doesn't sink in as significant. But in the 19th century when she lived, women were not allowed to own property. She was born in 1835 and died in 1917. Here's a photo of her. This was a remarkable woman. I have never seen a cactus as tall as this one before. I wonder how old it is. Here's another very large and old cactus. This beautiful square has uh, picnic tables and benches where you can just sit and enjoy the day, but it's also got this very cool wall that has historical photos from, oh, I don't know, the last hundred plus years, people and places that were important here in San Juan Capistrano. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> This gorgeous house is the Rios Adobe. It is one of the three original buildings that were built in this area. It was built in 1794. It's now a private law office, and so we can't go in and see it. I love how they have taken a lot of these old houses and turned them into businesses. Tea shops, restaurants, uh, clothing, jewelry, the attorney's office. Yeah, this is a cool neighborhood. They are not letting it uh, go oldy moldy. <laughs> this gorgeous Victorian house is the O'Neill Museum. It's not open on Sunday, so I didn't get a chance to go in and see what it has to offer. It was built in the late 1870s by Juan Garcia when he married his bride. He promised her a house like no other. And until then, everything was adobe. This is one of the first wooden houses in San Juan Capistrano. 
they've got little bunnies in the yard here. <laughs> That's so cool. I think they see me and they have just frozen. And if they don't move, I won't notice them. <laughs> this is a gel cell from 1896. I wonder if they left it outside or if it was inside somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look this up. So the marker says this was created as a holding cell for miscreants on their way to the county jail and it is the scene of several jail breaks and one hanging. So the weather had been holding pretty well, but now it is uh, starting to rain. I think I have left the historic district and I'm now wandering around an old residential area. <laughs> so I need to find some shelter. Uh, lunch would be good. So the travel guide that I am reading online recommended several places to eat in the area, but honestly, a good Mexican restaurant is going to do it for me. So I am trying Bueno Bueno. It smells amazing here. You order at the counter and then you get your number and they bring you your food and I got a seat next to the fireplace. <laughs> you know how much I love fireplaces. So I got the enchiladas de la casa. It is two enchiladas with a homemade corn tortilla that tastes really yummy and two types of cheese, asadero and fresco. And it's covered with a medium spicy red sauce. Really delicious. And it comes also with a side of beans and rice. I haven't tried those yet, but if it's anything like the enchiladas, it's gonna be really good. Well, that definitely hit the spot. It was so good. Next stop is the mission. This is where the swallows are supposed to come back to. So let's check it out and see if they're back yet. So I am outside the mission. I uh, paid and took a tour to go inside and the woman who sold me my ticket said, if the swallows were going to come back, they would be flying around. So they are not coming back today. So that is a little disappointing, but you know, I knew it was a possibility. It's not like they're on the same kind of schedule that I'm on. <laughs> they're not worried about coming back a day or two or a week or so late. The mission has a policy that you can only take photos and videos for personal use. So I am not able to share anything that I took inside on this channel. So this is the ruins of the great church. You can see this from the street. Uh, the mission was founded in 1776, the same year we declared our independence. This church was started in 1797 and it took nine years to build and in 1806 it opened and had services for six years and then in 1812 there was an earthquake and the church came tumbling down and these are the remains of the great church from back then. Since the woman at the mission told me the swallows weren't coming, I decided to try to get an earlier train back to LA, but I wasn't able to. With a couple of hours to kill before my train came, I decided to take another pass around the town at night, and I found my way back to the outside of the mission. I was filming the front when this happened. I do not believe this. I just saw some swallows. <laughs> they did come back today. Now it wasn't a whole lot, it was just a few. But that was why I was here. And they were flying right to the mission. So <laughs> this is so exciting. So I have made it onto the Amtrak and I am on my way back to LA 
This has been a fantastic day. I'm so glad I didn't get the earlier train. Otherwise, I would not have seen the swallows. I hope this helps you find your adventure. Thank you for watching.